Magic Move slide transitions make an image move from slide to slide. You can use Magic Move transitions with two consecutive slides that share at least one identical image, like a logo or a photograph. For best effect, the image should be a different size or in a different location on the second slide. To create the transition, select the first slide and open the Slide Inspector. Click Transitions and choose Magic Move from the Effect pop-up menu. To make the transition play more slowly, increase the duration. Magic Move also looks great with several images moving from one slide to the next. Use a chart as visual aid when you want to show trends and relationships in numerical data. To add a chart, just click Charts, and then choose the kind you want. Two-dimensional charts are on the left, and three-dimensional charts are on the right. Let's choose the two-dimensional pie chart. The Chart Data Editor is where you enter your own data. Just click a cell, type over the placeholder data, and press Return. The chart reflects your changes immediately. Changing data labels is also easy. Just double-click a label and type. Resize the chart by dragging its handles and drag it from the center to position it on your slide. If you change your mind about the type of chart you want to show, you can always choose a new chart from the pop-up menu in the format bar. Let's make this a 3D pie chart. And we'll explode a wedge by selecting it and then dragging. Charts add visual power to your slides and building them in Keynote is a breeze. Tables are a great way to organize and present data in Keynote. Adding a table is as easy as clicking Table in the toolbar. Once it appears on your slide, you can drag it around to the position you like and resize it by dragging the handles on the table corners. To change the number of rows or columns, go to the Format bar and click these arrows to change the number or select the number and type in your value directly. To format a cell border, use this pull-down menu to choose the border you wish to change. And then use the format controls to change the line style, thickness, or color. To make column and row labels stand out, add a header column or row using the header and footer buttons in the format bar. You can also add more than one header or footer to each section if you choose. To enter text in a table, double-click inside a cell and start typing. If your data doesn't fit, you can resize rows or columns by dragging any of the cell borders. You can also apply the same cell size to any group of cells. Just shift-click on the cells you want to change then go to the Table Inspector and enter a value in the Column Width or Row Height boxes, and then press Enter. Your table is now formatted perfectly and looking its best. Relationships in your data are easy to spot when you display it with a chart. This table shows our home utility costs over the course of two years. Let's show some of the data in this table as a chart. First, we'll select the row for 2007. Next, we'll choose a chart type by clicking the Charts button in the toolbar. Two-dimensional charts are listed on the left, and three-dimensional charts are on the right. Let's choose a 2D bar chart. In our chart, we don't want to have the total cost represented, as it makes the comparison between the months less meaningful. To remove this data point for the chart, but keep it in our table, click once on the total column, and then press Delete on your keyboard. 
Now the chart more clearly represents the relative costs of the individual months. It's fast and easy to view the data plotted in the chart in different ways. For example, to see the difference between the costs for 2007 and 2008, select the chart, then go to the selected row in the table and drag it down over the 2008 row. The chart dynamically updates as you move your highlighted row, allowing you to quickly visualize the relationships between the two years. Now let's add data for 2008 to the chart. Shift-click on the December cell and the January cell to show the data for that year. Next, click and hold on that highlighted row and drag it to the chart until the green plus sign appears and then release the mouse. The corresponding data for 2008 appears. With the chart selected, most of the controls you need to change the chart's colors, labels, and other elements are right in the format bar. To add titles, go to the Chart Options menu and select Show Title. Select the title type in your label. You can also tilt the x-axis labels. Click on them once to select them, then go to the angle menu in the format bar and pull down to 30 degrees. Now let's change some of the chart's colors. One fast and easy way to change your chart's color is to click on the chart colors button in the format bar. Here, you'll find a number of professionally selected color sets that work well together. For example, from the top menu, pull down to 2D color fills. Click on one of the blue tiles and drag it over a chart element, then let go. All of the data points in that same series are changed to that color. You can also set a group of data points to follow a set color pattern. Select Spectrum from the pull down menu and then click the Apply All button. The first two colors in the set are applied to your entire chart. You can also instantly change a chart's type to find other compelling ways to display your data. For example, with the chart selected, go to the format bar and click on the chart pop-up menu. Here, you'll see all of the 2D and 3D chart types listed. Let's choose 3D area. Your chart updates to a 3D version, which you can rotate for the look you like best. Numbers gives you many flexible ways to easily visualize and present your data using charts. A vivid, colorful chart can really help you tell a story with your data, and creating one in Pages is easy. To insert a chart into your document, just click Chart in the toolbar. There are many styles to choose from. We'll start with a simple pie chart. Once you choose a style, the Chart Data Editor will open with some sample data. To enter your own, just double-click a cell, type it in, and press Return. The chart updates with your changes as you make them. You can easily customize how your chart looks. If you want the legend bar to be located under the chart, just click and drag it into position. The format bar allows you to add a chart title by clicking on the Options pull-down menu and selecting Show Title. Then double-click on the title that appears and enter your own. The format bar also allows you to change the chart type from the one you originally chose. Just click on the chart pop-up menu and select 3D Pie. The 2D chart is instantly converted to 3D and you can rotate it to get the best angle. To add more emphasis to a particular data point, select that part of the pie chart and drag it out to help you make your data easy to understand.